Well, when restaurants open in St. Louis County, the staff will all be wearing masks. And Fox 2's Patrick Clark talks with restaurant owners about what to expect as they welcome customers back. Restaurants in St. Louis County getting news from County Executive Sam Page that businesses can reopen May 18th with restrictions, operating at a 25% capacity. Well, all the staff at Blueberry Hill is real excited about reopening. Uh, we'll pick the day very soon after looking at all the guidelines. Uh, it'll be easier for us to accommodate whatever capacity is recommended. We can do every other booth, every other table, uh, every other dartboard. It'll, it'll be pretty, pretty easy to do. And we already have masks in place for the employees, uh, hand sanitizer. I've ordered uh, uh, touchless thermometers to make sure nobody has a fever when they come into work. Blueberry Hill owner Joe Edwards using the time to resurface the floors of the iconic landmark that's never had its doors closed to the public since it first opened in 1972. And Friday afternoon in Valley Park, members of the OG Hospitality Group gathering a plan. Every table is more than six feet apart. Um, we're, we're bringing in, we have temperature checks for all the staff. We'll have um, interviews with staffs daily, a lot of communication. Also, you know, they're, they're signing, you know, signing agreements not to be, you know, to understand they're sort of a first line worker in this scenario. Um, all that's happening. On the same note, we'll have stickers on the ground six feet away. We're having notes anywhere there's a possibility of not, you know, where social distancing is, where people cross. We're going to have one in one out signs and, you know, all sorts of regular, you know, all the things that you see, hand sanitizer stations in the restaurants. OG Hospitality Group making videos on their website to show customers what to expect when they reopen for business. In Valley Park, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News. And all of our local restaurants need community support. It goes without saying, and we've teamed up with Sauce on the Side to put together a list of restaurants who have been offering curbside takeout and delivery options. One of the locations is Roper's Ribs on West Florissant Avenue in Jennings, and you can learn more in the curbside and carryout page on fox2now.com. It's under the featured section.